Dr. John Torres and Dr. Amish Adalja. Uh, Dr. Torres, you heard uh, of the defense of a very complex distribution process. There's no question that the military is doing its job. They are getting the doses to the states. The issue is, is the federal government doing enough to facilitate getting people vaccinated once they get to the states? And I think what you heard there is him talking about developing, manufacturing, and distributing the vaccine, which is what Operation Warp Speed is focused on and the military has certainly assisted with. But then you have the preparation and administration part of it as well. And there seems to be a disconnect between those two parts. So until you get that the, the administration part of it done, where people are actually getting their shots connected up to the distribution part, you're going to have these low numbers happening right now. And like I mentioned earlier, in some countries you're seeing mass vaccination events happening. Uh, one thing this country has been very good at in the past, and if you look at World War One, World War Two, is mobilizing our entire industry, mobilizing our country behind one cause in an emergency. This should be the cause we mobilize the country behind and say, we need to get these vaccines in people's arms. We need to get them to where they need to be, and we need to give people shots as quickly as possible. Let's do what it takes to do that. That means somebody centrally at the federal level needs to control that or at least make sure it's happening. And of course, uh, Dr. Daja, it is our system of federalism and states' rights. And also, for instance, in the UK and Canada, they have the National Health Service. So they have a, a ready-made way of tracking and bringing people together and distributing something like this in a very orderly fashion. What comes to mind now is how well are we tracking the people who need their second doses? And also, who's gotten Moderna versus Pfizer, you know, down the road a year from now? They need to know medically who got which vaccine in order to follow up. Yeah, this is going to be a very hard uh, data management challenge. I know when I got my vaccine uh, coming up about maybe 10 days ago, I received a card that told me that I had the Pfizer vaccine and told me when my second dose is due. And I registered with the CDC vSafe app, which also helps you do that. I don't know how many people are doing it. So this is something that a lot of us anticipated would be difficult, especially as we have now another vaccine approved in the United States, the Moderna vaccine, making sure that people are in the right line, making sure people are coming back at the right time. One of them is, is a three-week interval. One of them is a four-week interval. All of that is going to be very challenging. And this is the, the challenge of a vaccination program. It's not just developing the vaccine and getting it to the states. It's the entire administration of the program, which is something very different than what the military does. This is more what public health does and what uh, individual doctors and health systems do. So they need the support. That's what where this gap is, where it's not connecting, is the distribution of the vaccine to the actual delivery of the vaccine. And that's where we want to make sure that there's funding, that there's support, that there's guidance from the federal government to make this happen smoothly. Because as I said before, it's not going to do anybody any good if, if states aren't able to actually vaccinate people with the, the vaccines that they've been distributed. Many states are only 20 percent of their vaccines have been actually given to people. So there's a problem right now. We need to address it and, and fix it. Um, no, absolutely. And as with everything else in this year, it's become political with the president tweeting and, of course, Joe Biden criticizing and he's going to inherit this. We'll talk about that coming up as well. Uh, Dr. Torres, Dr. Adata, our thanks to you.